Hi everyone, it's Erin on Linden Boulevard. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to the elephant ear storing video that I posted a couple weeks ago. It's been two weeks now since I posted that and the elephant ears have completely dried out. So I just wanted to do a quick video on how I actually am storing them for the winter. And then we will do another follow-up video for how I take them out of storage in the spring to get them ready for planting in the ground for next year, but that will be to come in the future. So follow along for just a quick video on how I'm putting them in storage for the winter. Thanks. I just received the perfect size box for the bulbs from the elephant ears to go in and be stored for the winter months. So I'm just gonna line the bottom of the box with some paper and then I'm going to place a layer of the bulbs in here. I'm gonna I was gonna use wood chips which I do have outside but I don't think that's necessary and I don't think you have to go out and buy wood chips specifically I'm just gonna put another layer of paper in and put the next layer of the bulbs down and then to use you know paper that's porous and not coated just for the sake of making sure everything stays as dry as possible and um, doesn't wick or does wick moisture instead of trapping it so that's it I'm gonna put one more layer of paper over this and then close up the box and put it in the pantry, cold, um, dark storage. Not in the garage, because the garage gets too cold and it will create moisture by the fluctuation. So I think you wanna make sure you're putting it in a spot that doesn't have a fluctuating temperature. Okay, last layer. Close her up, and I'm gonna put her in uh, the basement pantry and check back in the spring. But I'll probably check back on it mid winter just to make sure everything still looks good and the moisture is. If I have moisture in here, I'll just change out the paper. Um, so just to recap, these bulbs have been pulled out and drying for two weeks. Um, I got off all what I can. There, This guy is still, I'm imagining he's going to create some moisture in here because it's a really big one. The smaller ones are pretty dried out. Um, and these guys will s stay in here until early spring where I'll plant them back up inside to start um, and they'll be ready to go hopefully follow along okay Mike mentioned you might want to label your box to make sure you don't forget what you have in your box <laughs> and then like maybe what you packed it in on packed on 10, 
oops, 30, 24. Thanks for following along. I hope you found this video helpful and um, continue to follow along, like, and subscribe, hit that bell, and um, there'll be more planting videos in the future inside and outside. Have a great day.